times do you ask a spouse or a child to do something or to handle something they're doing in a different way, in a nice manner, before you start to feel neglected and ignored and disrespected and start to ask for them to do the thing in a more irritated manner that might be construed as criticism? And for that matter, what is criticism? For someone with rejection-sensitive dysphoria, simply saying, hey, can you not leave your wet sheet, your wet towels on the bed? It really messes with the sheets and creates more work for me. That can be seen as criticism. We have no way of knowing if the author of Love and Respect was actually being criticized by his wife when she was asking him to not leave wet towels on the bed. And even if she was criticizing him, the fact that he continued to leave wet towels on the bed and expected her to not say anything at all about it, rather than having a grown-up conversation and saying, hey, I don't really like the way that you were asking me to handle this issue. Can you ask me in another way? And I acknowledge the fact that I shouldn't be leaving wet towels on the bed. And instead, he went about it in a very passive-aggressive manner, waiting until she went out of town and telling her, I didn't actually miss you because you weren't here to nag me. There is absolutely no defense for the Love and Respect book. Don't come in my comments and try and defend it. It's manipulative, it's gross, and it twists scripture. And we don't do that here. You can't tell me that that passage in that last video was respectful to his wife by any stretch of the imagination. So let's go make better choices.